man, it's a beautiful morning, man. Even though it's raining, rain is a beautiful thing. Cleans the air out. So I'm letting some good air in. Give me my, get my breathing exercise in this morning. I've been falling behind on my notes and stuff like that. Oh, I meant to write down uh, the day of uh, uh, Comedic New Year's. Comedic New Year, fam. All right, so at least in, uh, with my family down here, it's Comedic New Year. So we are celebrating um, the win day number two. So um, quick, quick note for those that don't know, all right, because I know, because we got a lot of different calendars. We got some people that are popping up with different dates and stuff like that. And the the, the piece that we're doing right now is as a family we're coming together to try to start to start figuring out how we fit this holiday in. But anyway, for those that don't know, good morning fam. Good morning brother Kwame. What's going on? Great Nia. Alright. So um so we're in the process of exploring and growing together. Right? Um uh I'm proud to say in Columbus I belong to um, well, at least I'm getting back in tune with, with with my family up here in Columbus, and I'm proud to say that we are a community of seekers, not knowers. I have a problem with knowers, you know what I'm saying? Because everything is they know exact, right and exact. They know where exact, right exactly everything is, and for me, that's that that has always been bullshit, and that produces a certain arrogance to where you are not able to learn new things. Um, I grew up with elders who was always questioning stuff. I grew up with elders who, who who forced me to question stuff, even their shit, right? Even the shit that I thought I believed in. Right? I was always encouraged to to go out and seek. Um, one, of the, one of the freedoms that I've always been um, allotted, right? Um, whether whether it was a Hebrew, Israelite, more science or um, comedic science, or, uh, my elders never pushed me away. My elders never told me not to. They just gave me warnings and asked me questions. You know what I'm saying? And just expected me to ask those that was around me the same questions that they was asking me right they can answer these questions for you brother you know what i'm saying so i always been in the community of seekers we, we never we we don't at least at least in columbus we don't be brewing um the sectarian haters or we feel we need to debate everybody or we need to fight everybody because they don't agree with us well anyway getting back to that so right now in Columbus, we're celebrating the committed New Year. And I don't know where else they're doing it right now, but uh, yesterday we had a ceremony, a small ceremony, and um, so I wanted to find out what was going on. And I can't remember the date. I know it's 62. Right now we are right. Right now we in sacred time, right? So because with the with the five days are. Make New Year is five days, a day for each major deity. All right, so we got a day for Asar, we got a day for Aset, we got a day, uh, we got a day for Heru, er, or Heru the Elder. We got a day for um, Set. We have a day for Nebhat, right? And all these days are sacred days in the sacred time where. Because in a sense, the, the year was 360 days, right? But of course, you know, we got 365 and a quarter day family, right? So what the, um, what our committed ancestors did was they began, they began, to, um, uh, so 62, the year 60 will be 6251 on, um, August 8th, right? Um. So I want y'all to understand what's going on here. So now, um, I took the week 
I discovered the weed, right? Tawi has taken a year, discovered the year. So, you know, we say it's, uh, what, what year is it? 2017, we saying, nah, dog, it's 6251. That's dope. 60, I, it's going to be 6251. But right now, we ain't in time. Right now, we outside of time. Right, right now, we are on our set stay. Right? You know, depending, depending on what community you're in. Right now, we on our set stay. You know what I'm saying? Right now, or, you know, it depends. But the point is, we are in sacred time. So, I'm just saying, happy committed new year. Come on out. Tonight, we're going to be at APDS at 6 p.m. Um, we're going to be watching a movie about a Waldorf scholar by the name of Sheikh Anta Diop, I think. Um, uh, I want to wish everybody a great Nia, man. And today is going to fit right in because the talk. We're moving right back into the Rice Passes piece. We're moving right back into the Heroes. We, we, we're moving right back into the uh, the re-entrance of the hero back into society, plugging back into the matrix, right? Um, because every hero has to be unplugged, every hero has to be recharged or initiated, and then he has to be plugged back into the matrix, right? And in plugging back into the matrix, Either he's going to empower the Matrix or he's going to destroy the Matrix. What type of hero are you? Are you even on your hero journey? Have you even began your hero journey, right? Have you separated yourself? Have, wait, first off, have you received the call? Did, did you receive a call yet, right? And I ain't talking about your cell phone, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about that type of call. I'm talking about the call from God. Have you received a call from your ancestors? Have you received the call from the universe? You know what I'm saying? Do you know why you're here? Have you even taken the time to explore why you were here? Why you chose this time, right? This time, why you chose 6250 right now? Well, we ain't in there. We, we in between 6250 and 6251 for immortal time. We at 2017, right? On this day near, do you, do you know why you are here? Do you know why you chose this time, family? Do you know why? See, because many of us, we still are caught up on the fact that we were accidents. Right? That we had nothing to do with our birth. Right? It was just chaos. <laughs> chaos, bro. It was the lucky luck of the draw. Not really realizing that we got just as much responsibility in being here. As a matter of fact, we got more responsibility for being here than our parents. As a matter of fact, we chose our parents. See, that's a whole different way of looking at the world. Whole different way of looking at the world, family. You know what I'm saying? We have been trained to look at the world as victims. I, I didn't choose to be here. I didn't choose to be born. But what if you did? And you just forgot. And if you chose to be born, why don't you start choosing? Why don't you start finding out why you chose to be born? This gives you power. If it's even a, if it's just illusionary power, it gives you a, a, a sense of power, a sense of being. You know what I'm saying? It is hard to live a life. It's hard to live a purposeless life, family. And your purpose is a lot bigger, a lot bigger than the world would want you to believe. Excuse me, once I gotta get my pills. So let's go on. Let's go on and um, get this water on, man. Hey, man, we have been toasting consistently since, since the first, I mean, almost since the first day of the year. You know, so, you know, I'm lifting up the glass to the toasting champ. Toasting champ, undisputed. Undisputed toasting champ. We've been toasting. I don't even know how many days it's been. But I know we started in month one and we are now on month eight. And I don't think I missed a day.
love my blue cup, even though I got cheated. All right, so drink your water with me. Come on, fam. And I'll try to get four of it, man. You never know what I'm going to do during the day. Especially since I ain't on the warrior diet right now. Which I'm going to have to kick back in gear. Because, you know, I know y'all was like, Brother, I think you're supposed to start it back up at the, beginning of, at the beginning of August. Well, I decided because I wasn't done with this 21-day challenge. And the next 21-day challenge, I'd go on and do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a, I got a, I got a fast coming. At least a three-day fast coming around the. Uh, uh, what's that thing that's coming on the 21st? What is moon blocks the sun? Eclipse. For those that don't know, I'm taking the golden route, also known as rhodiola. Not feeling any effects. Yeah, I'm getting up later. That's the thing about the fast, right? With the fast, I will be up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, now I still wake up at like two thirty. My mind's my mind is clicking at about 2.30, right? 3 o'clock. It's like I'm waiting for 3 o'clock to hit. But when I was fast, I was able to jump up out of bed at 3 o'clock. Now I'm like, uh, 3.30. Uh, and then another 15 minutes, 3.45, right? So that's the beauty about fasting. It lightens the load. Don't sip it up. Mm mm. Not the equinox. I'm gonna fast on the equinox too. But um, I'm talking about the uh, eclipse. We got an eclipse coming up on the 21st of August. The last time an eclipse hit America like this was a hundred years ago, right? This is around the time. Um, this is around the time when you had a lot of titans, uh, barons stealing shit, and we were froze out of the market. We couldn't get in. We couldn't find. We couldn't get finance. And if we was trying to finance in some form of fashion, we were being blocked. Right? Um, this eclipse a hundred years ago. The world when it hit like this changed a lot of major players' lives. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna change our lives too. A lot of people don't really understand the importance of some celestial events and how it can really shape and change you. I want y'all to hear it. This is that root beer. I don't call it root beer no more. It's just that that uh Giame root drink. Turmeric, sarsaparilla, ginger, and cinnamon. Not too much time before Black Wall Street. Word. Word. Told you. Celestial events. <laughs> change your life change your life change people's right so what we have to decide on as a group even a small group we got to decide on how the eclipse is going to affect us see a lot of people wait and wait for other people to tell them how things are going to affect them we are in a time of consciousness now where we are awake and we could determine 
how this event will affect us. So that's part of the conversation we need to have with the comedic new year or with I mean Kwan's is gonna be too late, but we need to we need to start talking about some of these celestial events, talking about what type of energy we're gonna pull down from it. Because we are no longer in the age of being at um um the whim and will of power. We are at the age of learning to harness and guide power. Right? At one point in time, people couldn't control fire, but we learned to control fire. At one point in time, people didn't, under, we, even though we still don't understand electricity, we can get it to work for us now, right? Rather than being just waiting for a lightning strike or some shit like that, a lucky, a lucky event. So, um, have you gotten a rudimentary idea of what chaos theories deals with? small a small amount you know what I'm saying um I, I, let me put it this way I ran into a little bit of of chaos theory in, in my reading but I ain't gonna say I got a total grasp of it um but I have to question the concept of chaos um no so but um i'm quite sure when i see you you're gonna run it down run it down for me but go ahead what's what's the issue um what do i need to know real quick so for those that don't know i'm talking to uh brother kwame um brother kwame is a mathematician um uh, i think a physicist as well um, a math tutor Right, brilliant. Right, so he be dropping some jewels on us. So those of you that join him want to remember, Maya is within chaos and brings order to bear. Hmm. Word, word. See, all right, cause this this. Because last night, Elder Tony brought up the point, at least I took it, that chaos, anything is chaotic that's outside of our understanding, especially in Western tradition. So we go and because of the arrogance of who we think we are, we see a system that we don't understand and we say that it's chaotic. Sort of like, uh, sort of like what Asians do us, right? So there's a underlying order that possibly we don't understand, and we call it chaos. And this is where I'm kind of, you know, what I'm saying when I'm dealing with the term chaos, I'm kind of like, boom, is it something beyond our understanding? And because we don't understand it, we say, oh, it's out of order. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I have, to, I have to ask the question, was it really ever out of order? Um, was my out of new form of order that was brought in? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I because I, I, I want to label things because that's, that's one of the powers. That's one of our powers, being able to vocalize and label things. But then again, I don't want to make the mistake of labeling, labeling something as chaos. Well, well, we'll talk. We'll talk later. But let's do this toast real quick. I'm gonna lift up the glass, right? I'm lifting up the glass. Y'all see that lightning? Oh my God! So that means the air is getting clean. I have nice word. The power of the word. Power of normal. Are you talking about the power of brother normal X? You talk about the power of the word. You know what I'm saying? And no more. We lift it up. We lift up. Our creator by whatever name. On my fault first, family. Great Nia to you. Great Nia. Um, today is the day of purpose. Uh, the Herm, um, the uh, <laughs> he said both. The um, the purpose. Today is the day of purpose. The meiotic principle is balance. Uh oh. Um, the color is yellow. 
um, the hermetic law is rhythm. Um, males born on this day, Nia, Kofi, females born on this day is a four. I have an a four. Yeah. Um, Wolof. One, two, three, four, five. Today is Mandu. Being appreciative of what you have and not envious of others. A kind ethics. Today is the day of justice. And in traditional Yoruba, attributes of good character is Titu, endurance. Alright. So, we're lifting up our glass to the Creator by whatever name you choose to call that Creator. We call on that great force in the universe. We call on that great power to flow through us and to flow with us, right? To allow us, to awaken us. To who we are. So we lift up our glass and we say our shape. From there we move to our personal ancestors. We we salute our ancestors. We lift them up. We toast them and we celebrate who they were and who they are to us now. We lift up our glass and, and, and we recognize all of those souls that have been involved in molding and shaping who we are, right? Who helped us discover our purpose or, or maybe moved us to the path to discover our purpose or maybe put up the roadblocks that was necessary to build up the strength of a body, strength of mind, and strength of character so that when we finally discovered our purpose, we will be able to move into it in full power. Right? So we lift up our glass and we salute those ancestors. Right? Grandmothers and grandfathers, mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles friends and cousins, nieces and nephews, brothers and sisters. We lift them up and we remember them and we toast them on this eighth month, right, in, in the year. Well, we ain't even in the year. We're coming out of the year of 6250, I think, and moving into the year of 6251. Right now we're in the sacred time, so we lift up our glass in the sacred time. And during the sacred time, this crack, this crack in the universe, this crack in the universe. I want to tell you how powerful this is, right? My elders called together a group of us, right? Where we celebrate this crack in the year, this sacred time where the energies are able to flow. Right, and we are at the crack of dawn. This they call it the crack of dawn because this is the time that the ancestors' power is really able to reach out. This is why they say this is the best time to meditate. This is the best time to commune with the ancestors. This is the best time to commune with with those creative and that energy out here. Right, this is why a lot of sacred rituals take place at the crack of dawn or or the crack of dusk. Right, because the ancestors and the energies are able to see through. Because there's a halfway, there's a halfway point, and we're at a halfway point. So right now we're about to call on our ancestors, right? I call on Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Texan, and David Hunter Brown, Sing, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Nina, Uncle Chris. I call on Geneva Brown. I call on Cleveland Brown. I call on Margaret Ellis. I call on Wash Ellis. Um, I call on Cecil Ellis. I call on um, Herman Brown um, the second, right? I call on um, 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 Alvira Brown. I call on um, uh, my Aunt Barbara. I call on my Aunt Katie. I call on Wash Ellis Jr. I call on Barbara Twiggs. I call on um, call on Normal X. I call on Sapet Mara. I call on. Jamon Jones, I call on Jeremiah Tappan, I call on John Fillard, I call on Montague Pitmanel, I call on Elder Donaldson, I call on Elder Harrison, I call on Elder Farmer, I call on um, Elder Millie, Millie Dixon, I call on Tony Clark, I call on Dr. Marianne Williams, I call on Kojo Kamal, I call on Terrell Dunbar, I call on
Tony Clark. I call him Mark Wash. Oh man, I call oh my God. I call my cousin Nikki Ellis. Good grief. Lift up my glass. Lift up my glass. We say I shake. From there we toast this moment. We are in the power of Nia. Right? We are in that the time of Mandu. Being appreciative of what you have and not envious of others. We are in that a con time of justice. We are in that um the the Yoruba tradition, the character, Tito, endurance, Nia, creativity. My fault, we are in purpose, balance, rhythm. We lift up our glass, we toast this moment, and we say ashe. We drain every inch of power from this moment, and we will inject it into our day, right? And we toast and we say ashe. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, to unto infinity, you know. My children had to have a really good to toast. Oh, yeah, they did the toast with me last week. So good, all right. So... But we lift up our children and realize that we're responsible for the next seven, seven generations from now until infinity, actually. So we're building. And being generational people, we know that if we don't put the work in now, we're going to come back into a bad situation. And that's over. No more bad situations for us, right? Mm -hmm. We're lifting up our glass. We're saluting our children. We're going to train our children so our children can train their children. And our children, their children will train their children. When we come back, they'll be able to remind us about who we are. They'll be able to look at us because they'll have the wisdom from us and be able to look at us and be like, damn. But I tell them it's come back, y'all. Brother Kwame has made it back, y'all. Right? So we lift up our glass and we say, I say. And I want y'all to remember, this is one of the reasons why certain families got certain certain family names. This is why when you go to some African traditions, you will find names like Kwame or Kwabana or Kofi, right? Or Abana, right? Because these, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go too deep for y'all. Y'all might not be ready for that, right? Y'all might not be ready for that. But I want you to realize Certain families have certain names, and there's a reason that we have certain names, right? There's certain energies that we be calling back. Lift up our glass, we say our shame. Right from there, I salute you. I lift my glass to you, and I say, hey, family, it's time to grow. It's time to bloom, right? It's time to do the things that we was born to do. It's time for us to raise the consciousness and we lift up our glass and we say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Woo! No smoothie today, family. I'm slumming. I'm slumming. Brother Hot Tim is slumming. Right? But hey, we're gonna finish this drink and I'm gonna move on to my other show. So I'm saying peace to you. Facebook, I'm sorry about the grainy images. I have to, um, I'm working on the light as we speak. Of course, you know, the landlord's like, oh, we ain't do nothing. We can't do nothing about that. You know? That's why we gotta get our own shit, family. That's why we gotta try up. Buy the block. Alright? We gotta buy the block. Get one of these old blocks and start moving in and chase, chase, chase some of those motherfuckers out that don't belong. Start, start building the fence around that, around that tribe. Start developing our border so that we can tell a motherfucker when we go to the store, dude, you don't, you don't belong here. You ain't paying taxes. You know what I'm saying? We got to start taxing. All right. That's part, of, that's part of building. That's part of culture. You know what I'm saying? What are you sacrificing towards culture? As a matter of fact, I wanted to go into that a little bit. I've been um, looking at the proverb, um, you know, because I am in the process of, of, of mastering the, the goal for the 21-day Guzasaba for me this time, right, was 
to master habits and get rid of dead weight and re-engage my wings, right? The dead weight that was on me is tobacco, right? So uh, this 21 day, boom, I was removing it. So that's one of that's that's one of the habits that I'm psh, slapping the shit out of, psh, psh, slapping slapping that shit, right? Right now, so. I've been using the African Open Tree of Life and the chapter that I've been focusing on is the trap chapter of sacrifice. And the very first one says sacrifice has to be made to stay towards the center. Right? It's yesterday I was talking about initiation, right? You know what I'm saying? When you get initiated, you move in, you 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 find the center and you you start sacrificing and get towards that center. Right? You start giving up parts of who you thought you were so that you could become who you really are. And many of us are not willing to make those sacrifices, right? You know, when it comes to culture, we're not willing to make the sacrifice. At least for our culture, we're not willing to make the sacrifice. But for business culture and, 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 and West Asian culture, we make all types of sacrifices and shit, right? For, 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 to, to support the other team, you know what I'm saying? We make all types of sacrifices, but we refuse to make sacrifices to ourselves. Because we refuse to make sacrifices to ourselves, we always offset the family. I just thought I would share that. And I'm gone. Peace.